Welcome to Easy Talks. Today, we will discuss one of the major concepts in toxicology, that is NOAEL and LOAEL. I must say that, objective of almost all the toxicity studies are to find NOAEL or LOAEL. However, to understand this concept, you should know what is considered as adverse effect and what is not considered as adverse effect. In toxicology studies, please complete module 4 and 5 before attending this module for easy understanding of this module. Let us see what is the rationale behind finding NOAEL or LOAEL is for hazard classification to derive threshold safety exposure dose to humans, such as derived no effect level DNEL. Occupational Exposure Limit OEL, Acceptable Daily Intake ADI, and so on, we will discuss more about this, in upcoming sessions. Also we will discuss about experimental design of toxicology studies, types of toxicology studies in upcoming modules, for better understanding of NOAEL and LOAEL. Let us see, what is LOAEL? The lowest exposure level, at which, there are biologically significant, increases in frequency, or severity of adverse effects, between the exposed population, and its appropriate control group. Unit for NOAEL or at low AEL, is milligram per kilogram body weight per day or ppm. And for inhalation toxicity study, it is milligram per liter, 6 hours per day. Let us see, what is NOAEL? No observed adverse effect level, or concentration, NOAEL or NOAEC. NOAEL is the highest exposure level, or concentration, at which, there are no biologically significant increases, in the frequency or severity of adverse effect, between the exposed population and its appropriate control. Some effects may be produced at this level, but they are not considered as adverse effects. This graph is self-explanatory, x-axis represents dose and y-axis represent effect, increase in dose, leads to non-adverse to adverse, NOAEL and LOAEL is spotted for easy understanding. Having said, concept of NOAEL and LOAEL, need to be understood, in conjunction with risk assessment, and adverse effects versus non-adverse effects, hence for better insights please go through module 4 and module 5, and stay tuned for upcoming modules on risk assessment, where you will get an idea on application of NOAEL or LOAL in detail. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this module, please like and subscribe, also request to provide your comments below to improve our contents, please do not forget to click notification button, for immediate updates. Happy learning! If you want to get certified by EasyTalks, please check the description of this video.